Um, today, I'm going to show you something that you may want to go purchase. <laughs> um, I'm confident you're going to want to purchase it. It is not really a review. It's more of uh, you want to go purchase it, definitely. And I'm going to show you why you want to go purchase it. I love it. You're going to love it if you purchase it. And <laughs> it's very inexpensive. That's the number one selling point. $20, okay? $20. And then it's like $5 for shipping. It, it has recently become available at Home Depot. Check your Home Depot. See if you can get it there, but it, it's 25 bucks. And uh, there is no monthly fee. Zip, not it. It has a phone app. And you don't have to pay for the app. And you don't have to pay a monthly fee for the cloud storage. It also takes an SD card. So, you know, you have that as a backup. Now, it's definitely competition to the other security cameras out there. Because... It is inexpensive, there is no monthly fee, and you do get to insert an SD card. And it's so easy to set up. It is the easiest camera to set up you will ever, I guess, have to deal with. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you gotta have Wi-Fi at the house though. <laughs> it's called Wise Cam, that's right, W-Y-Z-E Cam. And they have a YouTube channel, they have a Twitter, if you want to follow up after watching this video to learn more about it, if I don't show you enough information to convince you to go buy this, then yeah, go, go check out their own YouTube channel and check out their Twitter or just go to their website directly. But today, I'm going to show you why you're going to want to purchase the Wise Care. Okay, so I got this one in the mail. I ordered it actually directly from their website. Before you even go to set up the Wise Cam, it, it's super simple. It really is. You're going to want to download the app to your smartphone. And it's, it can be found anywhere in the, the Play Market, I guess. And just tap their icon. Okay, after you open the box, here's what you're going to find inside. A camera. A micro USB charging that you actually plug into the wall. It connects via electricity. Of course, the uh, connecting micro USB cable, a 3M sticker with a magnet. It works really well in this, and you can put it anywhere you want with that magnet. And it comes with directions, of course. Okay. Now you need to get to know how this camera works. It's really easy. It's confusing when you first pull it out of the box because you don't notice that this comes off. But it doesn't actually come off. It lifts. And you can turn it and angle it and do whatever you want with it. So first thing you want to do, as I pointed out, is put in the micro SD card. And you're going to put it right there. Okay, now before you push that button, grab your phone after you've already installed the WISE app. And you're going to come over here to the menu section. You're going to tap that and it's going to say add a product. Tap add product. And it's going to show you which cameras you have. <laughs> and you're going to look for your camera which is right here at the very top for me. But they also have the Wise Cam Pam and the sensor now and a motion sensor. So you're going to go set up the Wise Cam, please. And you go, it says, okay, click the setup button first. So you come over here to your camera, right where that button is, and you hold it down. Ready to connect. You hear that? ready to connect okay so it says it's ready to connect so you're gonna take the camera and you're gonna pick up your phone and click next because you heard ready the to ready connect. to connect right okay so hold tight okay so you take that app right there the, the, the barcode it says it's ready to connect QR pick code up. scanned please wait and see how easy that was all I had to do was point it to the phone. That simple. 
Yes, that's right. That's simple. <laughs> so it says, please wait. So you're going to wait. Setup completed. Setup completed. That simple. Now uh, you get to go find out where you want to see the picture. Now, I set it up right here in the kitchen, but you can unplug it and put it anywhere you want to put it. In the house, outside the house, wherever. And... It'll just plug right back in. You don't have to reset it up. Okay, now after you've gotten it connected, you're going to click or tap this part right here where it says, I heard the QR code was scanned. Please wait. And then now it's connecting it via this thing. So you'll see a picture come up in just a moment. You can name your device. Okay, so, you know, the keyboard's going to come up, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it GH for right now. You can go back and change the name anytime you want to. And then click Finish the Setup. Now, see, I have, like I said, other cameras there, so we're good. Now, this is where it says the GH. <laughs> I'm going to tap that. And it should show a picture in just a second. Now see, authenticating. A new firmware is available. Always say yes. Yes, okay. And then it'll click the upgrade. And it'll take a few seconds for that. But basically, yeah, <laughs> it's the simplest camera to set up. But you do need to have Wi-Fi. And at the very beginning there, you know, I, I already had my Wi-Fi set up. I've already got another camera, so I didn't have to set up the Wi-Fi because it automatically recognizes that it's coming from here. So um, you just got to tap. Like after you set up one camera and you want to set up other cameras, it will automatically recognize your Wi-Fi. You just click yes. <laughs> and then you can set up the additional camera. Now, um... Like I said, it's inexpensive, very inexpensive. I, it's so inexpensive, I gave everybody I knew one for Christmas. Because <laughs> I think everybody should have one of these. It is really a, a great camera. Now, as you can see, it's currently updating the firmware. Whenever it tells you it wants to update, just say yes. Basically, when it doesn't update, it either adds like a logo to it or, you know, something some other feature to it. <laughs> it's got a lot of features. It's so walkie-talkie. It's, uh, you know, got night vision. You can turn it on, turn it off. Motion detection. It's uh, just an amazing camera for the price. And it definitely is the competition for all those other security cameras out there. <laughs> I'm going to show you one that I have already installed and on the wall. Now see it it moves. It does whatever you want it to. And I have it attached with that 3M sticker and I put the magnet on the 3M sticker. And in this way you can move it up and down, do whatever you want to change the location just like that. See? The sticker stays. And then you can put it right back. And then that way you don't have to drill holes in the wall. Okay, so as you can see, it says the firmware is now up to date. So you're going to push that back arrow right there. And there we are. See? <laughs> okay. And let's see if I can see me. And now you can see how you can pick up the picture, make it bigger, pull it down. There you go. Alright, are you seeing that? Okay, there's the camera, there's me. I'm on the phone, see? And you can hear actually what's happening. And yeah, I I really like this camera. It's called WiseCam. That has quite a few other features. I'm gonna show you some of the, the features yeah. here. This is the the phone app. Now see you have the camera icon right there, you got the video icon, microphone icon. You push this when you want to talk. See? And then pull up. You can talk to your doggy. <laughs> All 
All right, and then if you want to make this bigger or smaller. See, I got the sound on right there. So if you want to take a photo, when you get it in this direction, you just take a photo just like that. It does it. Okay, save to the album. You can save it or look at it later. You can share the picture if you want to. Okay, so after you click that little side album, you can see where it says album. <laughs> That's where your picture will be. You also have motion tagging if you want. You can do a time lapse video. Or you can even turn it off from there if you don't want it on. But click the album. And now, you know, I, it's probably going to show you some of my other stuff that's in there right now, too, because I do have other cameras. But yeah, that's where you get your videos at. And you can look at any one that you saved. Yeah, they got little bird houses, too, you can put on it. As you can see, definitely. <laughs> works outdoors just fine. Okay, now that I've got this little thing connected, I'm going to put it in a different location. So all you got to do is unplug it. Okay, so I just replugged it into a different location. And there it is. See? <laughs> it's now in a different location. Just that simple. Okay, so now here's a picture I took just from the outside camera. And what you do is you take it like that and tap, tap. And you can make it bigger. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's all from outside. Actually, you know, this camera that I'm talking to you from right now, the flip camcorder, which I love, <laughs> uh, is not showing just how great the the picture is on this bottom line you need to go get this camera because it's cheap and it definitely will capture anything day or night and it is super easy to set up and um, if it breaks you, you only out 25 bucks <laughs> you know you can always get another one but uh, I've had I guess I've got like six, seven, maybe eight of them now all around this house, outside, inside. And um, I've had no problems, none. They, they work just fine. I really like it when I go to work and I can make sure my dog's doing okay. Say hi to my dog, you know, because she gets lonely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if somebody comes to the door, I get notified. If the fire alarm's going off or the uh, uh, carbon monoxide, whatever, anything, you get notified from your phone from, you know, because it's on that app. The, the app is very effective. It will notify you on anything. And you can set the, the feature so that it only notifies you on certain things. Like if you want to set the sensitivity to a little higher or lower, you can do that. You know, if you don't want to be notified that somebody's walking in front of your house, but you want to be notified if they're knocking on your door, you know, you can set that sensitivity. Um, it really is, the, the picture on this, like I said, I, I can't do it justice through this camera. But I really think if you are willing to invest $25, you're going to tell yourself that is the best $25 you have ever spent. <laughs> because, yeah. I'm a bit biased. <laughs> I love the wise cam. So if you're in the mood to try out a little security camera that you can plug into any socket, the ones I have outside I have attached to extension cords. And like I said, you can buy, um, if you want, like a little birdhouse or a little thing to go over it for outside if you need to, you want to. Those are available on eBay. Yeah, there's, like I said, this camera is definitely the competition of all the other security cameras out there. So, go check it out. Wise cam. <laughs> it's, it's a good little camera.